You've been stung by a female Palestis. How did it feel? Describe the pain if you would. My thumb's really tight. Um, Your thumb's tight? Yeah, that's, I don't know. It, it, like a sharp sensation every now and then. When a human speaks, we have expectations. When any other organism speaks, it's mere silence. Most people speak one language, but that same sentence with different tones relate completely different messages. We understand words, tones, reactions, proof we can understand other organisms. Just listen. That is common sense, but good sense ain't common. Forgive my southern accent, I hope you understand it. Extinction after this just in. Extinction. I've been enlightened, apparently. More plants than any other organism have gone extinct around here recently. And these plants are the foundation of everything. Only they capture the sun's energy. Personal comments flying in with thousands of different perspectives. Facts, opinions, and different objectives. I got stung by one of those, how do I attract it? I have to kill it. Stop, you idiot. You missed the most important message. Like I said, personal messages with different objectives. We need bees and wasps for pollination. You think you can do what the wasp was born to do? I banish you. You try to fill the wasp's shoes. Why don't you do something positive and apparently new? Why are you so underrated? I'm sorry, you deserve way more views. Because people watch the shit YouTube recommends you to. And I get dissed for speaking the truth. Uh, pretty much determined that this beautiful species is completely harmless. Coyote Peterson wannabe JK, you are awesome. I about exploded and threw my phone over those mountains. Coyote Peterson rip off. I'm going to rip off a couple letters from your comment too. That second one is a copperhead, not a cotton mouth, still dangerous though. Ryan Irians, that's ironic. Copperheads don't even exist in my region. That black strip behind the eyes and bullseye splotches is telling me something different. Submitted this in a group for the sake of clarification. People actually thought I needed help with Florida venomous snake identification. When your close friends and family are still killing snakes because they don't understand them. Every time it is out of your presence because you don't let that shit happen. And your mind brings helpless creatures to safety through action. A small token of respect for all of our planet. Clarification. I go to your house and break your television. Life is the only thing the snake and every other creature has so cherish it. That's an exaggeration on the killing of a snake is not such a bad thing spectrum. 7,000 people are bitten by a venomous snake annually. Turn your fear into excitement, play the lottery. Your odds of winning are three times more likely. One in 50 million, you feel me? Exactly. Everyone has an opinion, but it's been positively identified as a moccasin couldn't risk losing a dog or a person. Now that's wrong and false justification. First you started out with the misidentification. Second you found the snake, the snake didn't find you. Because snakes eat rodents, not people and dogs, dude. Here's the truth. It's harmless. People do some stupid things because they're scared. Killing things because of potential. Eradication of spider snakes and bees. Obviously because it's harder to learn about these. I'm gonna break it to you, there's no easy way out. Don't justify killing a snake because you hunt. For real. Every hunter knows you eat what you kill. Save every life because all life is precious. Careless actions. Learn your snakes. Their, Their life, life is, is not yours to take. take. Wild predators don't kill unless they eat it. Doing you harm is not the snake's intention. Eradication of creatures based on potential. Where does that put us when we lose our potential for evil? 